What made him this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chan. On October 26, 2009, Christian created the YouTube account Clyde Greg Cash Maze to further instill fear into the troll Greg Maze slash Clyde Cash by attempting to blackmail him with fake info he had acquired, which he believed to be true. The first video on this new account was a blurry clip of a composite picture of Clyde's supposedly real face, superimposed over a famous depiction of the cartoon strip character Calvin peeing. Trolls of the internet. Remember this, as this is the face of your supposed leader, Klein Cash. Now this is just a small foretaste of the beginning of his downfall. There's more to this little Photoshop picture than meets the eye. For every day, he does not upload a good satisfactory video with the, pro with the promise and his tell-all details, I will reveal more and more of this until it's fully exposed. So there. Clyde, you have another 12, 24 hours. On the 27th, Chris made a threatening video directed at Liquid Chris, throughout which a heavy metal song which Christian took from the video game Brutal Legend can be heard. Well, Mr. Chris, we talk again. I'll tell you what, I've heard that you've been bothering Casey. I'll tell you. Not cool, dude. Not cool. It's one thing to break your promise to her, but when you go pestering her like you've been doing lately, yeah, you cross the line. So you best stop what you're doing. Because believe me, you don't want to make me very angry. And believe me, I'm on the verge of such. So there. You just back off. Just back off, man. <clears throat> Besides, she told you about how she feels about me. Let her go, dude. Leave her alone. I'll leave you with that for now. The following day, he uploaded his second video attempting to scare Clyde into revealing his identity. It featured a photo of two scantily clad women kissing while one's head is covered up by a cutout of the person dressed as Spider-Man from the photo allegedly showing Clyde. Hi viewers at home, we are viewing the second piece of the puzzle, or should I say the photograph. Mr. Clyde is doing something to do with his buddy Matt, who is really getting super late here. <laughs> ah, another 24 hours before the next piece of the photograph is revealed. On that same day, Liquid Chris made a video for Christian, intimidating him to leave Casey alone while displaying some martial arts moves reminiscent of those previously acted out by Christian himself. I'm coming for ya! I am the only one here who is fit for Casey! And another thing... Uh, yeah, and this one's for you. A real deal! Oh, by the way, I have been talking to some people named Jack Thaddeus and Greg Mays who has told me personally that they are going to help me take you down. So get ready, arch nemesis. I will be waiting. And to the rest of you, peace. On October 29th, Christian responded with an exceptionally musical video. Yo, MC Chris, I'm gonna rap it to you, man. Listen up. I think your video, you lame ass, you done copying this and that. I'm gonna screw you, I'm gonna take you to town. Who do you think you are, Eric Cartman? Screw you, gay. I'm going home. I'm a good five foot ten. What are you, like a four foot eight? I'm 
to tell you something right now. That ain't gonna let you lay. Yet you had it once with her, and you laid it down. You, she done left you, boy. You lost her. You treated her like a dang rag doll. Dang rag doll. And she ain't no rag doll. She's a caring human being. You was a, and you was the dang fool for mistreating her like you did. And I love her for I love her for so much more than that. And you so dumb. You threw it all away, man. She left you. Now she's with me. So at this point, you could just. So oh, at this point, man, I tell you what you can do with all your notions you had with lovely, good, sweet Casey. At this point, you could just dream on. Because she and I, we share sweet emotion. You didn't share no sweet emotion. You just done played her for a fool. And I don't care, and I don't take to fools like that. And by the way, you know what? I don't care about being a virgin, because you know what? She and me, we gotta be like, loving an elevator. Loving it up in an elevator. I mean, I tell you. I tell you what, man. She done leave you, she done left you, man. She come, to, come towards me. Because she's beyond beautiful. She loves me now, she loves you not. Listen to the words of Aerosmith. She's beyond beautiful, and she's beyond brilliant. She is so fun. She cares a lot. She cared about you too, but you don't turn her down, man. You lost her. So face back, man. She's with me, Matt. She is with me now. You're yesterday's news. Just like that, just like the boat that the Mythbusters made a newspaper and nice. Yesterday's news. Good show, by the way. I learned from it. So you can just move on, Buster Brown. Because Mama Brown ain't gonna take that no more. And I will kick your ass, because I'm crazy. <laughs> You come find me in person, and I'll kick your ass. Come on. Have a good day. Until when you meet me in person. Liquid Chris made his own diss track, in which he rapped to the beat of My Name Is by rapper Eminem. In case he doesn't love you, it's true. I checked her email this Tuesday at 7.02. She has more apprehension than someone like you having a semen and drinking it too. In orange fancy chocolate syrup, you just can't refuse. Motherfuckers online think that it cannot be true, but you prove them wrong. Bottoms up is your motto, so it slides down your throat like a melted gelato. I'ma rip off your four inch deformed dick, shove it up your ass like a certain medallion. Then I'm gonna turn you into a murder statistic, because bitch, I'm hot fucking functioning autistic. Out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you listen to that and you take in the words from that. Peace, and have a good day. On the 30th, Chris uploaded his third threatening video on his Clyde Gregg Cash Maze YouTube account. Ah, look at Mr. Clyde Cash now. Huh, his muscles are so weak, they fall right down. Look at that. He's so weak and feeble. And <laughs> look at him. And you know what? I highly recommend this to every dude who goes around shirtless. Wear a muscle bra. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, wants to see your doggone ugly pecs. They're so ugly and repulsive. Ugh. Creeps everybody out. But anyway, you want to see real muscles, check these out. Chris showcases a couple of photos, which were made to prove his strength and show off his muscles. But anyway, enough said about me. This guy is really weak. Stay tuned for another piece.
On Halloween 2009, Christian uploaded that one other piece, a composite image of a scene from the cartoon series South Park, which also features Clyde Cash's alleged true identity and also the individual dressed as Spider-Man, both getting sprayed in the face with foam. Live from somewhere, it's good morning somewhere, and they are live as Mr. Cash and his friend are getting Jonah's brothers in their face. And also, he likes to pee. He has that fetish. Why do you think I used that picture in the first one? Anyway, and now for something completely different. Stay tuned for something completely different. A bunch of good push-ups. The push-ups in question were revealed in a video released on the same day, in which Chris purportedly performs 30 push-ups for the camera, with great struggle and physical distress. He keeps changing his form throughout the video, and despite his claim, does not complete a single proper push-up. Also on that day, Casey uploaded a video of her singing the female parts of the song A Whole New World from the Disney animation Aladdin, and asked that Chris complete the duet by singing the male sections and solidify their relationship by doing so. Thinking the video was addressing him, Christian completed the request and uploaded a video of himself singing the male lines of the duet, sung over the original song. I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder. The woman featured in the video is from the cover of the drawing instruction book, How to Draw Manga, Volume 28, Couples, which featured, among other things, instructions on how to draw erotica and even sex between two men. Liquid Chris also recorded his own rendition of his half of A Whole New World. A whole new world With new horizons to pursue I'll chase them anywhere There's time to spare Let me share this whole new world with you In the fourth video he uploaded that day, Chris does his best to introduce himself to Casey's parents as a prospective partner. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. D, Casey's parents. How are you today? I'm good. I'm okay. But anyway, I am making this video directed to, yeah, directed to you both. You know, I'm definitely better than the uh, previous uh, Chris that uh, y'all got to know. I am 27 years old. I stand a good 5 foot 10 inches. I'm very strong. Mark, I just did 30 push-ups, which you can see in a recent video on this same YouTube account. I feel like I am honest, loyal, and reliable. I like to. I prefer to uh, keep a soft-spoken tone of voice. But when but when I have to, I can be uh, argumentative and uh, and such. I like to put. I like to keep things in long thoughts. You know. It takes, sometimes it takes me while I think about things, but like, you know, if it doesn't take much thought, or uh, if I can come up with a decision right away, then quick as it's quick, as, quick, quick like that. You know, it definitely took a while, you know, after getting to know Casey to realize that I, that I loved her, that I care about her very much and I love her. But anyway, I feel like I am a good boyfriend material. Anyway, when the time comes, I look forward to beating you both. So I bid y'all a safe and pleasant day. Thank you. Soon after, Clyde Cash responded to Christian's push-up video with his own, in which he completes 31 push-ups. God damn, you can really see how huge my fucking ass is. Which would be an attractive part of me if I was a female. Oh well. Also, I, yeah, my neck is really down. But you know, cause... Oh, what a Dreamcast! 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 And a pile of papers, I guess. What the fuck? Just a bunch of lab papers and shit. Yeah, I can't do push-ups at all. <laughs> oh, well. On November 1st, Christian uploaded a video in which he attempts to flex his muscles in a threatening way believing it would intimidate Clyde Cash. 
You think you're so tough? You think you're so tough? No, you are not. You are weak. This battle is far from, this war is far from beyond over, Mr. Clyde. You got nothing. You got nothing. You are weak and very powerless. I am a strong one. I am strong. You back down. You are a weakling. I am the strong buff one. Arrgh! 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 Later that day, he uploaded a short clip on his Clyde Gregg Cash Maze account of the World Trade Center Twin Towers, which have been shaped from the photo of Clyde and Spider Man, which Chris had been using all this time. Well now, Mr. Clyde, your fame and riches, your fame and fortune shall fall just like these twin towers. They go crumbling down with an airplane. Near. You are weak. I'm the strong one. You are going down, Mr. Clyde Cash. Liquid Chris left a comment on this video. How could you mock the almost 3,000 people who died in the 9-11 plane attacks? I will show this to Casey, and she will kick your ass and I will help. Please die. Quick. Not long after, Chris uploaded another video, which depicts Clyde's alleged head, superimposed over an illustration of Family Guy character, Brian Griffin, peeing on the head of the man in the Spider-Man costume. And don't you dare celebrate just yet! I'm still going! <laughs> you are weak, Mr. Cag Cash. You are weak. Ha. <laughs> the next day, due to the deafening backlash of the video in which he inadvertently mocked the victims of 9/11, Christian made an apology video. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the uh, recent video I uploaded which obviously was a terrible joke. I had no intention of, of uh, offending anybody on such a worldwide manner. All, I was meant only to offend Clyde and to note on how weak he was. I felt, I personally feel sad another day of 9-11. I cared about its effects just like the next person. Anybody, se I'm seriously, I'm a, I'm a good American. God bless America. God bless America, land of the free, and the home of the brave. So again, I am so sorry for making that Photoshop pic and making a terrible joke. I love America. I was born in America, and I'm proud to be an American. But anyway, instead of that, uh, I, have thought I have made up an alternate joke. Yeah. Okay. I will snuff out Clyde because he is so weak. I will snuff him out just like the candles on a birthday cake. <sighs> I will snuff him out like a birthday cake candle. <sighs> and again, I apologize for the bad joke. I've already taken the staff, already deleted it, and I wish for it, and I would appreciate forgiveness, just like the next person, and I promise it will not happen again. God bless America. Have a good, have a good, safe day. On November 3rd. Christian uploaded a short video which was meant to serve as an introduction for the video to be uploaded right after it. I had a few technical difficulties with the during the making of the, of the following video. I got, you know, I only got two hands and, you know, I had to handle multiple controllers. And plus there was some visual static between the uh, DVD burner and the television. But at least the final result ended clean. Alright, so anyway, enjoy the fun, enjoy. This because you know it's about as, it's about as good as the, as drawing the comic drawing the comic pages. Uh, let's see that copy cap one at this one up this one. 
Love you, Casey. I'm thinking of you. The video in question was a playthrough of a custom-made level on the game Little Big Planet called Rescuing Casey. The characters of Christian and Liquid Chris were made to be controlled by two players, but since Chris was on his own, he attempted to control both of the characters by playing with two game controllers simultaneously. He achieves this with some difficulty. He rescues Casey and shoots Liquid Chris with a paint gun. Christian then moves on to a level appearing to show his and Casey's first date in which Chris controls both characters. This is in fact the Valentine's Day level which he had originally made for Blue Spike's Julie persona. On November 4th, Chris had a call with Casey. Hey Chris, it's Casey. Hi Casey, how are you? Um, I'm cool. Um, I'm over at my parents' house because um, they wanted the call. Okay. Because um, they saw some of your videos and I gave them the letter. All right. Let me go ahead and get my dad for you because he wants to talk to you. A troll joins the call, assuming the identity of Matthew DeVoria, Casey's father. Hello, Chris. This is Matthew, Casey's father. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, looks like I have a couple questions for you. All uh, right. That's fine. That's fine. I'm happy to oblige with an answer, with an honest answer. Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, let's see, uh, you got a job, son? Not currently, but I am working towards getting a job. I have been filling applications left and right. Really, really? What kinds of places? Uh, what kind of skills you got? I'm applying for, like, uh, retail stores and such. I've uh, got an application in over at the new CBS in Rutgersville, and uh, one over at uh, Walmart, and I had one over at Target. Right, that's that's minimum wage stuff. Uh, you, did you go to college or something? Yeah, I went to college and uh, I got a degree and a certificate in computer aid drafting and design. And you're working at Target. You want to work at Target, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm not really sure what kind of jobs my uh, degree and certificate would get me, but I mean, like, you know... You got a degree not knowing what kind of jobs you could get in that field and you've had it for how long when did you graduate i graduated in 2006 and you haven't had any jobs between then yeah i have i have done volunteer work what kind of volunteer work humor me i help the uh, children over at the as a assistant gym leader for the pokemon trade card game league a few years back po pokemon and, uh, wait yeah. that how long ago was this I mean, wasn't that like back in the 90s when that was really popular? I, mean, I think my youngest daughter used to like that, but, you know, that was... It was the late 90s. It's late it's 90s. Still, that side's still going strong. You've been playing a children's card game for 10 years. Well, I, anyways, I'm, I'm done talking about uh, Pokemon now. I, I got, got a couple more. Okay, uh, so uh, what kind of place you got? You got, you got a place of your own? Uh, where, where are you living at? Yeah, I'm currently living in a two-story house with my mother and my father. Living with your parents, age 30. Got it. Almost 30. Excuse me. I mean, I hope that, uh, that doesn't strike you in the bad tune, but uh, I just had not felt like I was ready for a place of my own just yet. You got you got to leave somehow. You got to leave at some point. I mean, you're, you're really serious about Casey, are you not? Yes, I am serious about Casey. And with her help, uh, I feel like I could get a good start on uh, being able to, uh, you know, Shortly in the near future, move out of the house, move with out her of the help? house, and get a place so, of my own. You need and, her help uh, and, in order to, to support both of you? Uh, I mean, it's more like, you know, mm, yeah, some details I might not understand, you know. I talk to my parents sometimes about that, but... If you can't support my daughter, or my daughter needs a man, a man to support her. I am, I am a man, sir. Where's the money going to come from? I do have a... A monthly income that I get. Do you uh, now? I get from the government. You get. My, my uh, family is a little bit in with the uh, government. Why do you get it? I mean, I'm a, I, you know, I'm a pretty strong Republican. We don't really like that whole that whole welfare thing. You know, we work, and if we can't work, we go join the military. Hmm. That's what I did. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, you S see, I'm high functionally autistic. Are you now? Yeah. 
that's a genetic thing, right? I mean, if you're really going to get with my daughter, I don't want tarred babies. Now, that, now it's a myth. If you say so. Hey, Casey, what, uh, what do you know about autism? Is, it, uh, is that genetic? Yeah, it, it's definitely genetic. Um, it usually runs in the mother's line, but it can be in the father's as well. But it's usually the mother's. And uh, twins have a much higher chance. Anything else, Dad? Uh, no, I think that's that's good. Uh, anyways, where was I? If you want a kid with my Casey, I would probably be best if you adopt it or something. That's it's a good thing, you know. Yeah, in my in my case, though, I would not I would not care to adopt. You see, I have my dream, and that dream is to give birth to. Uh, to share a daughter with my with my wife to be, and her name would be Crystal. A dream, as in like you were asleep and you saw something. Yeah, and plus in the dream, I had like an office job. You know, I don't think I think Casey actually doesn't really like that name. You know, it's it's kind of a kind of a stripper yeah. name. You know, Crystal. You know, it's, it's kind of like no, kind of no, like no, Crystal no. too. You know, like that, that, that no, no, uh, it, no it, would not, it would not, it would not be Crystal. It would be Crystal. It's just replacing the uh, C R I S T L E. It's replacing the L E with an A L. Yeah, but even so, I mean, you said this all came to you in a dream. I mean, dreams, you know, they don't pay the bills, and I mean, it's just a dream. That's all just from your head. I mean, you think you have some kind of, you know, powers of prophecy? That doesn't seem very. Uh, to me, it doesn't seem very uh, godly. Uh, uh, you know? uh, yeah, well, I'm not saying that I'm a prophet. I'm not saying that, but you I, know, it just it gives it's uh, it's definitely something that I feel that God has promised it to me, and I believe in God. I I go to church every Sunday. Yeah, and if you think you see the future, you know, that sounds like you're trying to be a prophet. That doesn't really sound religious. That just sounds like some you know mumbo jumbo to me. Well, I'm not saying that it is the definite future. But it is a possible future, and I am looking to make that happen. Well, make it happen. I am going to. Do it. When did you have this dream exactly? Yeah, I pretty much. I pretty much had it uh, sometime when I was between seven and nine years old. And seven. Then oh, Twenty years ago, excuse me. And and nothing has happened between then and now. You're almost thirty. I mean, you're, you, you know, time is time is going to start working against you. You know, I mean, it's yeah. life is short. Yes, it is. I mean, w- what do you do all day exactly? Yeah, I get creative. I uh, I like to draw in color, and uh, sometimes I like to create with my hands. Like you know, I sculpt. Really, I must say, I'm not really impressed. Uh, well, uh, but uh, let, let's move on. Now, let's let's talk about a little bit about what you think about my my lovely daughter. You know, what was uh, what was the first thing you uh, liked or noticed about Casey? I noticed her beautiful face. Her beautiful face. Yeah, and her blue green eyes are like a pair of swimming pools that I would just love to swim around and bathe myself in. <laughs> So, uh, so the first thing you notice is her appearance. It's like, you know, you're you're looking for like a trophy wife or something. It's it's kind of funny. No, I I actually learned first that she was smart and very delightful to talk to. And then after a while, she and I met in person, and then I got to appreciate her face. This doesn't really add up to to what Casey told me, you know. I mean, uh, you know, from, from the impressions I got from what she said about her first little encounter, we'll call it, now, she said she was a little bit uncomfortable around you, you know? And apparently when you first talked to her, you know, you actually were pretending to be somebody else, actually. You know, that other Chris, you know, that... Uh, yeah, that was another thing, yeah. And you know, I, that Chris, you know, was her boyfriend at the time, you know? I, I've actually talked to that guy, you know, met him in person. He's a he's actually a pretty nice kid. Yeah, but if you notice know, his YouTube videos, he does get a little crazy. But anyway, he's pretending to be me for... At least up to a few months ago, where he pretends. But that doesn't that just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why would he pretend to be you? You know, someone yeah. like you. You know, guy yeah, who but, lives with his parents. Yeah. Okay, well, first off, I'm internet famous for being the original creator of the. Uh, it's like a combination of Sonic the Hedgehog and Pikachu. So I'm like the original creator of Sonic and Rose Chew, the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon. 
I originally started that back in 2000, and uh, yeah, I've drawn a few books up to now, and I'm still doing some okay, drawing. Okay, so... so because I, I don't like to leave an unfinished project finished. You but know, I have absolutely way. no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I, I barely know what Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon is other than it's kids stuff. So, so basically what I'm getting here is that you took two, like, kids things and put them together. You know, two copyrighted yeah, but, kids yeah, things. And yeah, but it's like, you know... Don't you need permission like, for both Sega and Nintendo? I mean, is that yeah, Sonic yeah, the Hedgehog is Sega, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I know a little bit I, about what my daughter used to talk about. Yeah, I have talked to Sega as well. But anyway, getting back, uh, uh, to, getting back to, if I may finish, yeah. Anyway, okay, I got Aaron at Famous, I'll, I got the fans, and then I got uh, the nice layers, which were the Aaron at Bullies and Trolls. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, I'm sorry. This is just getting completely ridiculous, all this internet. I don't know much about computers, but, I mean, that's just... This sounds like just a yeah. whole waste of time that I don't care about yeah. because it doesn't pay the bills and it does not help uh, support yeah. my case. Yeah, I, I, I understand that. Yeah, I, understand I mean, I was in the military. I mean, yeah, I was I, doing something. I fought okay. in Desert Storm. I fought against Saddam Hussein. And then what? And then you you made this Sonichu thing. I mean, it's like. Uh, this, this, this something, something, something's not right here, you know. But, but, but since you did bring up YouTube, I, I got, I got kind of an interesting little thing that I noticed in one of your recent videos. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what exactly you were thinking with this. Um, you, know, you did that video with the uh, 9/11. Uh, I can't say I really enjoyed that too much. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, that hits close to home to me. My mother, yeah. Casey's grandmother. You know, she died on 9-11. I'm sorry to hear that. I did not mean to hit that hit that fast type of emotion. Uh, it was originally intense as uh, they have a thing uh, against this uh, longer worser internet troll who goes by the name of Clyde Cash with an alias of Greg Mays. And, you made a video basically just trying to trying to mess with some guy on the internet that makes fun of one of the greatest American tragedies of our lifetime. No, the Amer greatest American tragedy of our lifetime. Mm, yeah, but this guy, uh, he's done a lot of things against me Yeah, on the internet trying to, you know, he uh, tries to destroy my good name with uh, a whole bunch of twisted truths and phrases and words. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Where were you on 9-11? I mean, they say everybody remembers where they were. I was just uh, let go from uh, my job at uh, Wendy's. There was some differences between me and my employer. You know, uh, yeah, you, I understand. Yeah, but anyway. Would you like to know yeah, where Casey yeah. was? Casey was at Ground Zero. She was giving blood and plasma, volunteering. And where were oh. you again? Yeah, I was I was out shopping with my mom that day. Uh huh. Really? That's yeah. That's wonderful. Wait a minute. Yeah. You said Wendy's before. Are you changing stories on me? Have you been like not, changing not, stories on me through this entire call? Not, not, no, I am not changing stories. This is the same story. I had just gotten fired from the Wendy's and I was feeling down. You'd uh, been fired from for, Wendy's. I was let go from Wendy's and I was sad about that. You know, they gave Why? me I told you this is because of uh, emotional differences. Emotional differences. That's yeah. My my that's my absolutely yeah, my nothing. Yeah, that's, my, that my, just my, sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Uh, also yeah, sounds a little uh, gay. Uh, did, did the fry cook break up with you or something? I mean, come on. Uh, no, it was nothing like that. There was what do you sigh so to, much? That's there was just irritating. There was a whole bunch of misunderstandings between me and my player. He had a spike on his shoulder against me. What anyway, kind of misunderstandings? Like I uh, did some things that he thought were bad, but were actually good. Good God. I mean, you sound like you're just some simpering little, your voice is all waving. I mean, and good, good Lord. You want to, you want to date, you want to date my daughter? I mean, you, you're not even giving me an ounce of respect on, now. Oh, come on. I grew up a lot since then. 
God damn, you just uh, this just sounds like a bunch of fucking whining. I mean, you don't even sound like half the man, you know, that other Chris sounds like at this point. You don't even you don't sound like you're grown up. You play fucking poker. Yeah, I, 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 I am a grown up, sir. I have moved on from the childish things. No, you you didn't move from po- you went from Pokemon to Sonichu. I mean, well, what the fuck? That's this is still just kid shit. You, I mean, you don't have a job. You're still living with your parents. You're almost thirty years old. Uh, this is this is ridiculous. I mean, you want to date my daughter? You realize have- she's leagues above you right now. She had a good fiance, and you and you just sit around play with toys and. What video games? Is that what you buy with your, uh, with your welfare money, like Pokemon shit? I have not played with Pokemon for years, sir. Okay, so what do you play with? You you denied Pokemon, but you didn't deny video games. Okay, I have played some Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. Yeah. yeah. The hell I is that? Stand, I have to stand up and play guitar. You have to stand up what? to play guitar. Oh, wow. That's why don't you? That that's just pathetic. I mean, that's not. Do you think that's exercise? Could you play a real guitar? I think that real Chris could play a real guitar. I work hard for my father in his garden. I pulled weeds. Those pulled weeds are weeds. very hard to pull. My grandma pulled weeds. My grandma had arthritis, and she pulled weeds every day. I even mowed the lawn. And this mow the very, lawn. Very, yeah, and, and, and wow. again, those were very hot days too. You know, I see I see seven year olds who mow lawns, you know, all day for a summer job, and oh yeah, and they get paid for it. Might I might I add? And also, you know what? Another another heavy duty burden I had to I had to take care of, and that I wasn't paid for. But my dog died a few years ago. She was a sweet dog. I lifted and carried her doghouse to the site where we buried her. Her doghouse. That thing had to wait. Like five, ten tons. It was very heavy. I carried that God. thing. <laughs> you're talking. You're talking to me about how your dog died. You're talking about someone who has lost friends and family in national tragedies. I had to deal with the loss of my mother, not to old age, but to fucking a plane piloted by terrorists. Yeah. Well, my and, family, yeah, well, and you're and then but but you know your heavy burden is your dog died. But I'm sorry, but you know, boo. I mean, really, it's uh, I've had dogs die. I mean, it sucks, but that's nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, well, that's that, nothing. yeah. Well, I was very sad when she died. I'm like, sorry. Well, are you mess? Are you was, messing with me? Was, are, are you are you trying to compare? You know, the loss of my mother, the loss of someone who took care of me for years to a dog. You calling my mother a dog? I am not calling your mother a dog. Uh, I had to dig my mother out of the rubble of the twin towers, and you had to lift a doghouse. Yeah, well, I'll tell you that doghouse was heavier than any tombstone, and that doghouse pretty much was a tombstone. Uh, you sounds like you're fucking with me now. I am not. I am being very honest with you, sir. I mean, how do you think Casey would feel if, you know, if I told about this? You know, how, how do you think she would feel about, you know, you comparing this whole lifting a 30, 50 pound doghouse to, you know, maybe a 100, 200 pound, you know, tombstone? And that doghouse is probably dog what, made of wood? No, it was wood and plastic. That thing had to weigh over 100 pounds. Plastic's pretty light, you know. I mean, that's, I'm sorry, this is. This isn't even close to the same. Yeah, well, also, going back to an old topic, that I have been deceived by the trolls. A bunch of them pretended to be women who I thought were honest over the Internet when I was talking to them for the first time for a while. Who and gives a I shit even, about the and, Internet? And some of them, some of them were actually Be a true man. Honest, and those two women died. I was very heartbroken by that. And yet I was even more heartbroken. When I don't even know that these crazy. people. I, I, and how many of these women have you gone through? But there was this one time where I actually thought it was a woman. I actually drove a whole day's worth back and forth, almost 24 hours, from my house to Cleveland, Ohio. Well, it turns out that was a bad lead. So you went to go to 
Ohio for a fake woman, but Mike Casey just told me that you won't go and visit her, a real woman. And you've met her before, for God's sake. Yeah, well, I mean, I was more naive back then, but I am very less naive now. I am not convinced. Oh, come on. You should come be on. <laughs> you know who you're t- <laughs> You know who you're talking to, son? What the fuck is this? That you're just talking back to me like a little kid. Don't yell at me, you maggot. Uh, Piece of shit. Yeah. You're just sitting around in your parents' house crying about your little dog, playing video games, whining about women on the internet, some lazy little I am not. I am not lazy. You're living with your parents and you don't have a job. How is that not lazy? Well, maybe I don't have a job, but I do work around the house. Casey, I mean, come on. Come over here. You, you got to listen to this. Listen to this guy. This is great. What, what, what daddy? Uh, just, just, uh, what is, I mean, I mean, this guy, this guy's just Daddy, fucking. you sound mad. What's wrong? I don't know. He's just talking about this little faggot kitty shit. And how he has to do, oh no, housework. I mean, and he's comparing that to when your grandma died. He's what? Yeah. I mean, I mean he's, he's talking about these heavy burdens he's had to face. You know, saying it's you know it's a heavy burden, kind of like when Grant. You know, you remember. Well, of course you remember when when we lost Grandma. How would you forget? Oh my God! I know. I had to volunteer just to get my mind off it. This guy has nothing to offer you. I have a lot to offer her. Like what? Don't yell at my father like like that. You need to respect him. He's retired (laughs) Marine. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I apologize, Matthew. I apologize for talking back to you. I don't even know how you how you think you can call me by my name right now. Uh, you are not good enough for my daughter. Chris, on the other hand, has my blessing. And if the internet is such a problem for you, I mean, just get rid of it. I mean, you don't need it for anything. Go to a library. Of, yeah, well, I have a bunch of ties on the internet, and I do go to libraries. I read a lot of books. Really? What was the last book you read? The last book I read was To Kill a Mockingbird. It's high school shit. Oh, Casey read that as a freshman in high school. Yeah. I, you know, I think the last book Casey read was last week. You know, she reads books like you probably stuffed candy down your throat. I stuff vegetables down my throat. I stuff green beans. I stuff broccoli. I stuff corn. I stuff carrots. Wow. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I, I don't even know what the hell. I... I eat and drink healthy. And you look like that. I, I don't. You, you don't even know what I just said, do you? I mean, you completely missed that I was. Uh... You know, that little analogy back there. She needs a man. A man who can support himself. And keep a job. I mean, you got fired from Wendy's. I mean, most people quit. It sucks. You got fired. You weren't good enough for Wendy's. You'll never be as good as Chris at this rate. I am a lot better than Chris. Believe me. You're not even a functioning human. You're leeching off my government. I, I met Chris in real life, human. and he's an upstanding young man. How are you better than this? I am an American. I am proud to be an American, and I am strong. Don't tell me you're an American. I was born in America. I was raised in America my whole life. I never left the United States of America. You're not... You can't tell me you're patriotic. I mean, if you were a patriotic, you wouldn't even thought about making that that video, that 9-11 video. I mean, that's – I still can't believe why you made that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you just – you don't do that. I mean, you're not acting like a patriot. You're acting more like a, a terrorist. Well, I'm sorry I gave off that impression. At least I was man enough to admit that I was wrong, and I – 
did my best to undo the mistake by deleting that video and making the apology. <laughs> you know, Chris and Casey are Americans, too. And sorry doesn't undo the fact that you made that video. May not, but at least I admit I was wrong. And it takes a man to admit when he is wrong. You're not a man. You you can't have Casey with, with, with this kind of... This is just ridiculous. I can't believe I'm talking to someone who's so naive. <laughs> you just cross a line. You just cross a line. That's saying the word naive. That is like the worst insult to what me. What line? You just really ticked me off right there when you said that. What are you going to do about it? Nothing at the moment. Nothing at the moment. Because I can't really do anything. I'm not right there in front of you now, am I? I'm talking to you over the phone. The only thing I can do right now is let you know that you just crossed the line by saying that are you word. Th- wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to threaten me? Are you trying no, to threaten not, an ex-Marine? No, I am not threatening you. I am not threatening you. I am in no position to threaten an ex-Marine. And I <laughs> understand that. And I respect you as such. I could whoop your naive little ass with my pinky if I wanted to. Casey could whoop your ass. I'm surprised she hasn't already. Well, I would be able to defend myself. So you would hit Casey? No, I would not hit Casey. Have you ever defended yourself? I have defended myself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was something to see. Have you? <laughs> okay. I don't think you'd be able to react fast enough. Yeah, well, you have not seen how fast I can react. You can't even react fast enough to what I'm saying. Because I'd like to spell check and make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Making my mistakes. My mouth does not go faster than my mind. What what are you even... that's another that is another one of my thoughts I am willing to admit. Sometimes my mouth goes faster than my brain. What all I, I I bet that's not the only thing that goes faster than your brain. Okay, so tell me why exactly you aren't naive. You know, why why is this crossing the line so much? Because it's insulting my intelligence. You made me feel anger. I mean, cuz you haven't proven your intelligence to me. Well, just like a computer, my brain is random, and it picks up memories at random. I cannot simply access them sometimes, even though most of the time I can. But sometimes I can't, and they later come back to me at random. Uh, this is just insul- this is insulting to my intelligence talking to you. I mean, you've shown me nothing but disrespect. I have shown you respect for the, for the while during the conversation. Now, this is the kind of respect you show me. I would hate to see what kind of respect you show Casey. Well, I'll just say that uh, this has been the most experiencing conversation, and uh, I wish you a pleasant evening. Take care, Mr. DeVoria, and stay safe. And please give my most fondest regards to Casey as well. I love her, and I care about her very much. Don't you hang up on me? Because when did I, I say that this conversation was over? Well... You could say the insult, and I'm getting tired of the insults. I feel like I need to go take a shower and uh, get ready to sleep. I mean, yeah, actually, that's fine. You know, you can go whine, and you know, you can weasel your way out of this. You don't even deserve my daughter. I mean, what what, what are you going to do after this? You know, what are you going to do tomorrow? You're going to get up and play video games again. You know what Casey's going to do? She's going to go to school, and she's going to call Chris back. That's what she's going to do. Well, that's what you think she's going to do. You do not control her. Because, you know, and you know why she's going to do that? Because, because he's the one she wants. I see. Well, this... <clears throat> well, this has really been enlightening. Learning that... Uh, learning about, you know, just how unworthy a person could be for my daughter. How, uh... How much of a... You know, I have to congratulate you, though, because you totally did a great job at getting Casey and Chris back together. Seriously, Chris, how could you?
You've been so insulting to my father and everything. Chris would never have done this. Maybe I did make a wrong decision. But I, I don't think I can do this. Maybe I was thinking of him all along. Maybe I just displaced things. Just, I can't believe you would do this. You know what? I don't want you. I don't want this. I don't need this right now. I have so much going on with finals and everything. Yeah, my dad's right. You're going to have to do something huge. I mean, you can't even work on the comic you promised me. You made me a stupid little big planet thing. Where the hell's the comic, Chris? I bet you're not even going to finish the comic. I, I, I just, you can't I, even no, finish no. it tonight. Or anything. You can't do anything. I can so. Well, obviously you're not motivated enough because you haven't done anything like that. You promised me tons of things. You never keep your promises. You just sit around playing video games. You made a stupid little big planet thing for me. I mean, come on. All I wanted was you just to pay attention. You don't even pick up the phone anymore because of the trolls, because of the stress. I can't do this. I, I want a real man. You see, you can't even say anything. Dad, I think you're totally right. Yeah, don't, don't tell him where we live. I don't want my name and number. See, look what you've done, Chris. Look what you've done. I'm sorry. It's not like you're going to do anything to make up for it. So you know what? I don't even care. Dad, you can do whatever. Yeah. That's the, that's all he can say. I'm done. I don't want to get in trouble for beating the shit out of this faggot anyway. <sighs> I'm going to go. This is too much for me. You You can finish this off, Dad. I'm sorry. Have a safe, good evening. So, what are you going to do now? <laughs> <laughs>